everyone! Welcome to my first video for Cassie L Plans. This is going to be a channel that is all about notebooks and planning and crafting and all of the fun hobby things that I am getting into and have been getting into lately. And this for this first video what I really wanted to do was kind of go over notebooks and journals and planners that I've been getting into, where I got them from, what I'm going to use them for, all of that good stuff. So hopefully if you had any questions about notebooks, or you were looking to get a notebook for yourself or a planner and you wanted to see some of the different sizes and compare them, this video is a good video for that. So to start, without further ado, I want to start by talking about notebooks called traveler notebooks. Now traveler notebooks are notebooks that have strings in them and they come in different sizes and I want to show you some of the different ones that I have, the different sizes, and um, just while I'm showing them to you, explain what you can use them for. All right, so this is, oop, there we go. This is the first notebook I wanted to show you. This is a traveler notebook. It is a micro size. So like, you know, the small one, it makes it a micro. And traveler's notebooks come with strings in them. Now a traveler notebook is a notebook, but it's more like a notebook to hold notebooks, if that makes sense. So like this is called a traveler notebook because of the strings, but it really isn't a notebook necessarily. It's meant to hold one, two, three, four different notebooks inside of it. Now with these, you can also, uh, just to show you on the ends, you can kind of loop two notebooks together and then loop them through. So this could essentially hold two on the front and the back, one and one. So that would be two, three, four, five, six notebooks you could hold inside of this max which is a lot of notebooks. So let's say you have six different to topics or what if you're taking six different classes in school and you want each of them to have their own notebook, you can use a traveler's notebook to hold your different notebooks. So like I said, this is a micro size, but I wanna show you another size. This is an A6 size and it's actually a single traveler's notebook that is holding, I don't know if you can see here, but there's um, there's one string. This is the back end of the one string that's right here. And it's holding two notebooks. Because what I did was I took these two notebooks, I looped them together with one string, and then I looped them through so it can hold two. This could essentially hold three, but this is a single traveler's notebook in an A6 size good to hold just a couple of different topics if you wanted to have like one book to hold your menus, one book to hold your grocery list, and then one book to hold your, I don't know, maybe your calorie counting, something like that. You could have it all be like same topic, but each book does a different thing. This is another traveler's notebook, and this size is a B6, B as in boy, six. It's a nice little larger one. And this one I like to use for, um, making calendars, like I've made uh, some spreads in here for my B6. I also, on the back, I've, I used to interview people and I would like to keep track of my interview notes back here. And so like this, you can use for all different kinds of things. Again, this is um, a traveler's notebook that has strings in it. And by the way, this is a wide, that's the word I was looking for, wide um, traveler's notebook because instead of the four strings, like what this one has, and instead of being a single like this one, it has six strings in it. So it's a wide, it can hold six to eight notebooks inside of it. So that's basically the overview of Traveler's Notebook. There's other sizes though that they come in. This is just three different sizes that I have to show you. Um, here's another small micro, but this is a micro single. This is like a next size up from a micro. It's called a passport. Uh, this is a passport single. You can see there's one string and here's the back end of the string. Now these notebooks, these leather carrier notebooks, the leather I got from, um, it's from a brand called Foxy Fix. Now Foxy Fix leathers are really nice. They can get a little expensive if you don't buy them used. I've bought some used, which is very helpful. Um, sometimes I'll get them new when they have sales, but they're not the cheapest around. Uh, so I've also found really, well, hitting the camera here. I also found nice ones like this is from Michael's and it's a traveler's notebook. And I made it all rainbowy, decked out, got a rainbow pen, rainbow notebook, rainbow notepad. So you can 
get really nice traveler's notebooks from places that aren't expensive either. I think this notebook here was like, mm, I want to say it was 10 to $15 at Michael's. And I think this is um, a pocket size. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's slightly different than this. So it's like one size smaller, but they have all different sizes that you can get um, at Michael's and other places. So traveler's notebooks, nice to hold, notebooks inside of notebooks. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is called a Hobonichi Weeks. Again, I have a nice Foxy Fix leather carrier to hold it in, and then I put it inside of another carrier here. But this is the Weeks, um, the fo or the uh, blah, 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 Hobonichi Weeks. So here's a non-decorated week. On the side here, it has all of the days and the dates, and on this side, it's a grid. Now what's nice about this brand and makes it pretty popular is mostly um, the paper. It doesn't bleed through. It has a little bit of shadowing behind it um, if you're writing with darker inks or heavier inks. But this paper is really thin, like Bible paper thin. So if you're looking for a nice notebook that for the most part, this stays pretty small. And if you're not putting a bunch of stickers in it, like how I've got all these stickers all over the place, if you're not you know, loading it up, it's going to stay like a small, nice little pocket size. Well, I don't know if it's pocket size, but it'll stay like a small purse sized notebook. Um, this is my regular everyday notebook that I go to for keeping track of appointments. And if I took my medicine, when I get my period, all kinds of stuff, I keep track inside of this notebook. And I really like the Hobonichi Weeks. Now, there's a couple of other notebooks out there that are like the Hobonichi Weeks in this same long, thinner size. And let me show those to you. This one is called a Print Pression Weeks, and it's similar to the Hobonichi Weeks in its size, but the paper is not the same kind of paper. This is more of like your standard print paper. Um, and, and it's got grids here. So here you would put the day or the date, and then here you would put all of your information. And it's the same on both sides. The whole thing is segmented kind of like that. So you can have the days. It's not already dated like the Hobonichi Weeks is, but that's kind of nice because then whenever you get it, you can start using it whenever. In the Hobonichi Weeks, you have to use it when you are ready. So this Print Pression Weeks, Nice notebook to, um, or I guess planner to use for, you know, everyday stuff if you want something small and you don't have lots and lots to write in. Now this is a Kinbor planner and it's called like a Fobonichi Weeks because it's meant to be like the Hobonichi where it has the dates on one side and grid on the other. But it's paper is different. Um, it's made by a different company. And if you're looking for a Hobo Nietzsche Weeks, but you wanna try something in similar size, but it's like not as expensive. Hobo Nietzsche isn't expensive, um, but it's not the cheapest kind out there. And if you're looking to just not spend that much money on a planner, this is definitely a great comparison. I got this um, when I purchased, someone gifted it to me when I got something else. And so I haven't used it myself because I really enjoy the paper in the Hobo Nietzsche Weeks. But this is another option that you can have if you're looking to get into uh, this size planner. All right, so the next thing that I wanna show you is another Hobonichi brand product. This is the Hobonichi Techo. Um, it is one page a day and it's an A6 size. And it's, it's very cool. I already decorated it a little bit. I haven't started to use it yet because it starts January 1st and I'm making this video in December, but it's um, nice if you wanted to have a note a day or you wanna just like keep track of, you have a lot more to keep track of. Probably what I'm gonna use this for is to keep just like little notes of things that happen during my day, kind of like a memory book um, because I don't have that many appointments going on all the time to need a page a day but I am really excited to decorate a page a day about how my day was. And I'm really excited about this. Um, like I said, this is a Hobonichi Techo, Techo, Techo. I'm gonna have to look it up 
um, but that's what it's called. Page a day, 365 days for the whole year. It's a great notebook if you're looking for something like this. Now, they do have this notebook, but split into two. Let me show that to you. This is the cousin. So it's the same thing, but it's split into two books. Did I put this up? Oh, no. Yeah, so this would be for the first half of the year, and this is for the second half of the year. So if you want to have something similar, but you don't want to have to carry around such a large book, there's these that are half the size. And again, it's an A6, so this is like a smaller, not necessarily pocket, but it would it's a good purse size notebook. And here's that connect, or uh, let me show you. Yeah, the, the Fobonichi is basically the same. So it's a little different in size, um, but it's another great option if you're looking to do something. And these are nice if you want a page a day. The next thing I want to show you really quick, I only have one of them, but it is, um, it's a, a planner style that some people really enjoy. Um, I haven't really gotten into it much, but it is when you, it's using rings instead of strings. So like those traveler's notebooks all had strings in them. Then there's the ones we've just looked at, the Hobonichi Weeks and the Techo planners that are like one book. And then this is rings. Now I'm not a big fan of rings just because I'm left-handed and it's always in the way when I'm writing, stuff like that. But um, it's great if you're looking for really, really good customization. So like this, I got the wrong size paper. But so you can have paper and then you can put what you would call a dashboard, which is like a fancy piece of paper or something to separate the different topics. Um, you can put a dashboard in it and then you can make each space as thick or as thin as you want. So like, let's say you want this space to be just recipes. You can have as many pieces of paper as you want here just for recipes. And then you can have like a whole thing here of, I don't know, your dreams, if you're tracking your dreams. And so it's, you know, people really like the, the rings. I just, like I said, it's just been hard for me to get into with the left hand thing. And I don't know, I just, there's something about the strings, the traveler notebook with the strings in them that just really appeals to me. So I have a rings, but I don't use it that much. But I just thought I'd share it with you because it is an option if you're into something that's even more customizable. Now this notebook is not a planner. It is a scribbles that matter. And it's just a dot grid notebook that I have purchased and I keep tracking of, or I, I keep in it tracking of lists and I used to carry it around and whenever I had a thought I would just scribble it down inside of it scribbles that matter this is a nice notebook if you're this is a b6 uh size standard notebook so this is the b6 just one notebook and here's that b6 traveler notebook so they're both the same size but if you don't want something as thick and you just want one book to carry around and you don't want to carry around tons of books just getting like a scribbles that matter notebook is a great one to get. And this is a nice little um, protective care case that I got for another Foxy fix. Um, but it's just another way for you to journal a notebook if you wanted to do bullet journaling. So I have this one and I also have do 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 this, which is a, I don't know how to pronounce it. Luke term Luke Sherm notebook. 1917 Lou Sherms, uh, but this is a blank one. And actually I use this to keep track of all of the washi that I have. I have too much washi. Um, but if you're looking for a single notebook that has really nice paper, this is a nice one to get. They, I think they have them in lined bullet grid and just blank. I got a blank one, but there's all different kinds. It's a nice thing if you wanted to have just one book. This is a bigger book. Um, here's it next to the B6. So it's about the same size, but it's slightly larger, just like by a little bit. If you're looking for like a bigger notebook to carry and you want, like I said, just to carry one, there's this one comparable to the com comparable, let's see, I can't say the word, to uh, Scribbles That Matter. Um, and there's one more book that I wanted to show you. This one, which is another single book. Now this is Astology B6 and 
It's similar paper to the paper that is in the Hobonichi Week, so it's like thin Bible paper kind of paper. But this is just grids. There's no date stuff. If you want to, they have up here where you can, it's really tiny, hard to see in the camera, but they have different days and numbers so you can circle what day, date that you were writing on that page, but you don't have to. And this I just use to keep track of lists, ideas, thoughts. Um, it's a nice single carry for when you're like, oh, I need something to write down this thought. You just whip this out and scribble in it. Um, and this, like I said, this is an A6 size. So there's the A6, here's the B6. Uh, let's see, yeah. And it's, a real, like I said, it's a really nice carry. If you have ideas, paper's really thin, doesn't bleed. A uh, little bit of shadowing when you're writing in it, but for the most part, it's, it's really great. All right, so that's my pile of notebooks and those are just um, a good handful of planning techniques, notebooks that you can go through. If you have any questions or you want to know more about some sizes or where I got things from, what I'm going to do with them, just let me know. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute video on notebooks and planning. Actually, I don't know if this is 20 minutes. I might edit it down so it's not as long. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or you want to see more stuff, let me know. I'm on Instagram at Cassie L Plans and I will be sharing lots of pictures there as well. So thanks for watching this video on notebooks and planners. I will see you next time.